I don't want you to think I've got ulterior motives here. <laughs> no, purely honorable, purely honorable. Selfless, that's me, selfless. <laughs> so a little while ago I was at work and I was talking to my boss about my channel and the stuff I'm doing and um, he mentioned, yeah, my son's got a, my son's got a channel and uh, he said he's doing really, really well with it. And so at the time, I don't know, I don't remember what he had, but it was like, I think he had 20, 30,000 subscribers and that wasn't a long, very long ago. Well, he just crossed 100,000. I think he's running around 105 at the time I record this, about 105,000 subscribers. Uh, his channel name is Men of the West, and I wanted to do something to just congratulate him. I wanted to make him a couple of um, commemorative coins, just to have and to hold and to, to remember the accomplishment. So I'm going to make him a couple of coins. I'll show you the coins. We'll get the molding process going here um, and see if we can't turn, get these things to turn out. All right, so this is me forgetting to turn my mic on, and I am coming to you post-production. This is the uh, pattern. Uh, that we're going to use. It has MOTW, Men of the West, the play button on it so that uh, it remembers YouTube. And then on the other side, I've got his channel logo, which is this Tree of Gondor. It has it has seven stars around it, a crown, and, and, and a lot of really fine branches that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get cast in there very well, but we'll see. All right, so there's two. We're going to do two at once here, uh, double up our production. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get parting compound down and get it uh, so that we can separate it off. We'll go ahead and brush them up here and just clean off the excess. All right, the next step here is to grate some fresh Petra Bond on here. The fresh Petra Bond is much stronger than the, uh, the sand I'll use to actually fill the mold. Uh, it'll give us a really good, clean impression. And with the Petra Bond in there, we're going to go ahead and fill it up. This is a uh, used Petra Bond, burned out. Uh, I've added oil to it, so it still binds together pretty well. Uh, it fills the mold nicely. It's just not strong enough for uh, getting a good face material on the on the pattern. And ram it in. We ram it in pretty firm here, just to make sure everything gets packed in there nice and tight. Pack a little more sand on there and then we'll ram it down flat and scrape it off. Okay, well, let's flip it over and uh, see what we got here. That looks good. And I just want to cut around these uh, patterns here to, to get a little relief on the edge because I don't want the um, uh, I don't want the sand to break off when I when I lift it out of there, and, and cutting it down below the edge of the uh, the pattern helps helps prevent that from happening. All right, and here comes live me back again. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to uh, I've just we're going to um, clean this up, the meniscus up, if you want to call it that. A little pieces. There's a little layer of sand that comes up on the part after this. I've cut it with a spoon because uh, the spoon doesn't cut it all the way down, so I'm just going to use the point of this nail to clean it off. And we'll blow it off. Now I use really low air pressure here. Blow it off. It doesn't really... Yeah, it's pretty low. <laughs> As if I didn't already know. I'm going to blow the parts clean, get any of that black sand off of there I can. And more parting compound, because we're going to basically ram this up on this side now. I want it to release nice and clean. I'm going to coat the whole surface. Uh, again, this is just talc, baby powder talc. And we're going to brush that off. Clean this all up for getting ready to ram the other half up. Brushing it also kind of smooths that sand out just a little bit. Put our cope on. More Petra Bond, but first we're going to I'm going to put in our sprue. This is what we're going to pour the metal through. Put that about right there. 
and I'm going to put these um, vents right at the end of the coin, right at the end of that vent that I, I printed onto the part. All right. I'll go ahead and coat that with clean Petrobond. Ran this up, being careful to not hit the sprue and the vents that I just put in. I have a habit of doing that. I'm trying to break that habit. All right. I'll top it off and smooth it over. Okay, we're all cleaned off. I'll go ahead and remove. Oh, sure, I wanted all that to come out of there. Remove these two vents. We will remove the sprue, sprue former anyway. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut in my pouring basin. There. Cut in our, a rib ridge for our basin, edge to edge. It's nice and smooth. This will come down. The basin's 30 millimeters deep. The ridge will come down about 20 millimeters from the top, so 10 millimeters off the bottom of the basin. That's where my ridge will be. Okay, our basin's cut, ridge is cut. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. Ooh, uh, interesting. One up, one down. Now I'm going to go ahead, this is my sprue right here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut in a fairly short runner, but it's going to be fairly decent size. Not bad. All right. So I've got my runner coming off my sprue. That's going to be run. That's actually running right here. I'm going to cut right across the top of these guy, these gates. And this would be another. I guess this is a, this is really called a runner. Um, maybe it's called a bubble trap. I just read about bubble traps, and I don't know what they really are. I just saw the name, and I think that this may be. Maybe one of those. I don't know. We'll open up the vent to the outside world because I don't want I want the I want the metal to be able to flow out of the part easily. I don't want to trap it in there, and I also want to be able to get rid of um, gas. Although there really shouldn't be too much gas. So see if we can't clean this up now. All I'm trying to do right now is get rid of any loose sand I can because I don't want those in my part. Those will make little pits in the surface, and every one of them will be visible. Okay, we're going to do a trial close, and uh, just knock off any other loose sand that might have come along with the mold. Let's 
good thing I did because you see what happened right there? A little bit right there, a little bit right there. That sand that's not going to be into our part now. All right, let's close this thing up and we'll pour it. All right, here we go. Brand new bronze. Let's hope it's melted enough, stirred enough. Good sign came up through both of the vents. Put that away to cool off on its own sweet time. And we're going to get out of this PPE stuff. Man, it's hot. <laughs> well, this is uh, interesting to me. We'll show this at the end. This vent looks like it's almost formed a tube. It may just be dirt sand on top of it, but... Um, it's kind of interesting looking. And you can also see, I mean, this thing was right up to the top when I finished pouring, how much this bronze shrinks uh, as it's cooling. You can see how much, how low it is already in there, um, shrinking out across, shrinking down. So this, uh, I'll come back to this thing once uh, it's cooled off and we can take a gander. All right, we're still pretty warm, um, but I'm gonna open it up anyway. And see what we got. Looking good there. Ooh. I think those look great. I'm gonna get these guys pulled out of here, um, cleaned up, and we'll talk about, um, I'm gonna talk about the pour, and then I'll show you the finished coin. All right, well, here's the, here's the, uh, here's the parts that came out. Tree of uh, Gondor there. Tree of Gondor there. Men of the West with the play button, and Men of the West with the play button. They look really good. A uh, little bit of blowout here on my mold, uh, but that's cool. I can that'll clean up with no sweat. And just in case you're wondering, they look coppery. That's the way they will look when they are polished up. They will look golden. So, um, as always, I just want to talk about the basin, 30 millimeters deep. It was when it started anyway. Uh, this ridge, you can notice it's rounded over, gentle. Uh, pour into the sprue, a uh, nice small tapered sprue to try to minimize the, um, uh, what's the word I just learned? Uh, I can't remember the word. Inclusion. It's not, that's not the word though. Entainment? Entainment, I think. Of um, air as it's coming down. It's going to ni nice laminar flow down through here into my runner which is coming across the bottom of this feeder. So we, the metal is going to come down, fill, keep moving up, fill across here, and then fill into the part. Uh, the whole idea here is, again, keep the metal moving. We don't want any hard stops in there. Uh, the other thing we want to make sure we do is try to reduce the amount of air and turbulence that gets introduced in here because we don't want to uh, bring in the solids that would come from a freezing up piece of metal. Um, these vents worked wonderfully. Um, the idea was just also just to have the metal come out of here nice and gentle. I didn't want to ram it in there too hard. Didn't want to put a lot of pressure on it. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about? All oh, those little things there. Those are little shrink holes. They didn't go very deep, but they did shrink down inside themselves. So inside of the metal, uh, as you would expect, cooling before the center of the metal, and it sort of just shrink down inside uh, itself. So let me go ahead and cut these guys off. I will come back with the finished part. Oh, right, well, here we go. There they are. Pretty much cleaned up. I got to do some cleaning around the edge, but um, minor stuff. Toothbrush and soap. Tree of Gondor on one side. Men of the West play button on the other side. And uh, whoops, flip in the right direction. 
two coins. So let me, uh, let me look at the camera and tell you goodbye. All right, Joyston, I hope you like them. There you go. Um, both coins flipped upside down, I guess, for you. Let's do it. Let's do it the correct way. That way, both coins. Hope you're happy. Man, I got to tell you, congratulations. This is, that's a huge accomplishment, what you pulled off. Uh, you ought to be proud, man. You've done a good job, and you've got a great following of people. So good for you, man. Good on you. And as I said, no ulterior motives. You know, just because your dad's my boss and I made something nice for you, I don't expect you to put in a good word for me, all right? <laughs> anyway, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'll put a link right over there. And... Uh, you guys have a great day.